Well, hey, you fuckers, and welcome to the Terrible Podcast. I am Nick. And I am Brad. And today, we're going to talk about some shit. We're here to talk about some shit, we're folks. Gonna, we're going to bring up some shit uh, and shit talk that shit. Hell yeah. Fuck that shit, dude. Hey, Brad. Yeah. I got a question for you. Okay. How you doing today, buddy? I'm doing good. I want to tell you something. I fucking love your lines of questioning, right? Awesome. And that's, you know, that's all I had to say. I held up my fingers, everybody, like I had more to say. I listed a one, which was I love Nick's lines of questioning. And then I went for a two and didn't have anything else. There Remember was... before when we were talking about starting a joke without having an end to it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what happened right there. I think we might be the kings of starting a joke and then just dying. And then just fucking dying. Yeah, floundering yeah. in the waters Dude, of so Lake Minnetonka. Check it out. A horse walks into a bar. That was good. You know that what I mean? That was good. I mean, that's, I almost uh, laughed with the setup. Just about. Just about. Uh, Brad, I, I have an idea for today, bud. Okay. Uh, mix things All up right, a little dude, bit. All right, dude, so check it out. Okay. All right. Bruce Wayne, Aquaman, and... Uh... <laughs> All right, yeah. No, that's all I got. That's I. It's, yeah. I could. I couldn't. Yeah. I didn't figure anything out. No, I've been there, man. Yeah, it sucks. It's like Boy, this one time, rough. dude. When I um, so I had an idea. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh fuck! Uh, that was I, I, th- I, th- I thought it'd be fun if we played a little game, Brad. Okay, I love games. It is called the accent challenge. All right. So what we're gonna do? Sounds challenging. It's going to be a challenge. I am going to present you with a, um, a mindset and a dialect. Okay. And you're going to have eh, however much time th- as you need, pretty much until it's to, not funny. To ma- okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll have X amount of time to really run that joke right into the ground as far yeah. as I can. All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. No, I love all of this. Here we go. So far. The Accent Challenge okay. on the Terrible Podcast, brought to you by Meatbox.com. 1-800-MEATBOX.COM. Uh, enter promo code MEATS for 15% <laughs> off your next, uh, you know, whatever the fuck. I don't have an end of that joke either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brad, are you ready? I am. Your first challenge, the intimidating British guy. Three... Two, one, go. All right. Suck at this so far. Well, no, I'm still talking in Think about it. English. All right. <laughs> hey, what you doing over there? You know, in the lorry, mate. Could it help but notice you got awful poppers up in your butt, eh? Dude, that's really good, actually. You keep coming around here around this time of night, mate. I be telling you, you ain't be on it, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby? Yeah, that's a cop over yeah, there. I know. That's called a cop. Oh, <laughs> Holy fuck, that's fun. <laughs> what, uh, Hold what's on, up, I'm not British done. guy? Hold on, you, um... I haven't run it totally into... Oh, you're going to give me some yeah, dialogue? Yeah, no, let's, let's okay. talk, I'll talk to your British All guy. All right, um, yeah, fuck, I love dialogue. Let's what, do this. Um, do you go to the pub for a pint? Sometimes. Oh, I had a rat bulb every now and then, but if you come around when I'm there, you might end up getting your wife anchored. <laughs> I expected you to suck at this, dude. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Turns I, out I'm good at intimidating British guys. Yeah, it's, it's actually this is, really good. This is how I reached that place. All right. All right. All I did when you presented me with that was... <clears throat> did you watch... Uh, Gone in 60 Seconds with Nick Cage, the Nick Cage one. Yeah. All right. You know the British dude who played Sphinx, the guy who didn't talk in that one? Like, I can't think of any other movies that guy's in, but he's in a lot of movies and right. he talks. Right. Anyways, I pictured that guy's face <laughs> and what it would sound like if he talked. Right. Even though his character in that movie didn't talk. You're like, what does this guy's face sound like? Yeah. What does this guy's face sound like? I'll just make that like? sound. And then that's what I did, and that's how I came up with going around here, mate. That's dope. 
you don't even know where the fuck you're all being off to. You ain't you, what you. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what to call you. Don't even know where you fuck you. You fucking you, you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck. you bloody shellfish. <laughs> you don't even. <laughs> An insult it's, that makes no sense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, mate, you're a fucking crayon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen here, you fucking st- stinky bread loaf. Uh, <laughs> um, it's fucking rancid. Fuck. It's uh, fucking rancid. Hey, man, give me one. I want to try one. Okay, let's... Um. Give me a flirty Australian. <laughs> it's pretty much an English accent, but with a little bit of... A little twang. A little spice. Yeah. Put some spice on it. All right. Okay. Today, we're gonna go to the fucking movies together. <laughs> I didn't mean flirt with me. Uh, uh, like, you don't have to act like I'm the one no, you're flirting dude. with. It feels yeah, like it's making it happening. more difficult. Okay. Sit tight. No, yeah. All right, you ready? All right, give it to me. All right, your red hair's really doing something for mm, me. Ain't it? I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of this <laughs> popcorn bucket. Yeah, fuck, man, I lost it. Oh, hold on. I see where you're going with it. You that, understand but... what's going to happen? I'm going to put my wanky through the bottom of it. Man, can I do an Australian lady? Oh, that sounds <laughs> tremendous. <laughs> oh, I love. I like the sound of that shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> oh, man, God damn. That's about I, where I, I'm at with I hope, that. I hope none of this is uh, offensive. I think we're still being playful so far. That's good. Um, so. All right, I got one for you. You ready? Yes. Angry, drunk, Texan. Angry drunk Texan. <laughs> That's mm. now this is a tough one. I could jump right into British angry guy, intimidating brute. Okay, so this one you need. That's I need to be more angry, not intimidating. Yeah, let's actually, see how I can put actually this pissed in. off. Also intoxicated. It's a twofer. Hi, who the fuck? See, I think we're getting into some offensive shit now, yeah. but just American. Because well, this is going to sound bad. You ready for just it? just depends on what you say. Oh, well, I'm not going to say anything bad, okay. but I just mean like, this is going to be a hokey, stupid accent. <laughs> <clears throat> who the fuck keyed my Chevy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck is going on here? I couldn't help but notice driving out to this pasture... I got some goddamn paint scraped off the side of my goddamn Silverado. <laughs> Who the fuck's been out here keying my Silverado? <laughs> all right, so that's all I like. I, I like that the more out of control he got, the more he said, God damn. <laughs> Listen, I'm not here for any goddamn candy and unicorn farts. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I'm here for a fucking hoedown, brother. Listen here, you motherfucker. Oh, yeah, let's throw some teeth in it. Listen here, you son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, get real toothy with it, dude. I'm I'm about to take you out to the yard and whip you out with the chains that I got. I'm imagining a biker fight here. It didn't go that well. No, I love it. Um, Okay. Like the circle, everybody's parked around with the headlights pointed towards the middle. And there's like a couple bikers. Like one guy pulls out a chain, the other guy pulls out uh, uh, a longer chain. (laughs) And then they're like, I'm about to whoop that ass, motherfucker. Okay. Listen here, you goddamn fucker. You fucking son of a bitch. Dude, I okay, I gotta gotta, gotta switch it up a little bit. Hold on. Because I like this voice. You fucking goddamn fucker. (laughs) I I like this voice so much. But I want him to be just as aggressive, but say nice, encouraging things to me. Okay. I couldn't help but respect all the feelings that your art delivered to me. <laughs> all right, listen here. I looked at, I saw the things you did, and I thought they were really great. Hey, you so motherfucker. Yeah. I seen that your band's playing Friday night at the open mic. Hell yeah, I'm going to be there. I respect your artistry. <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah, dude. That's what I envisioned in my head. No, what you said was perfect. No, God no, damn no. it. I love this game so much, Brad. This is a fun game. 
this this needs to be the new game that takes over the nation. Yeah, dog. All right. I, I'm t- I would, this might be a bit of a modification of the game. I think it's going to be more like create a voice. Okay. For stuff. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Which is we're pretty much creating characters That's what here. What we're doing. All right. Yeah, that last guy. His name was I don't know Tex. Yeah, probably. Probably. Or at least that's what his yeah. rough name will be in the script. Sure. We're going to come up with a Tex movie. It's going to yeah. be called Tex in Texas. My name is Tex and I'm from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Uh, what, I'm sorry. What? Uh, what? Well, I need to come up with a... Uh, I want you to be... I'm going to present you a scenario. Uh, you're a snowman. <laughs> okay. And you're robbing a bank. Holy fuck. Yeah. And that's and, all uh, I know? Well, it's, uh, you're at the window. You just got, the person just got done. You're next in line. You walk up. Action. <laughs> all right. So the snowman leans in real close to the bank teller, right? She's already appalled that a fucking snowman is at her back. Right? Like, this lady has so many thoughts going through her shit right now. Well, excuse me, miss. I'm a silly snowman. <laughs> what the fuck's that sound? Brad's My phone. phone's buzzing down Brad's here. phone is buzzing. I doubt you can hear it in the mic. Hey, man. Uh, okay, well, I called attention to it anyway. I, I don't know what a snowman sounds like, dude. I like what's going on so far. Um, I'm just a silly snowman. It's not a big deal. I'm just here to get a... Uh, start my own fucking... Just kidding, bitch. Guess what? I have this gun. And where was I keeping it? Not my pockets. No, it was tucked into the giant snowball that makes up my abdomen. I want all your fucking money in this bag before I melt away. Dude. Holy shit. We might have to turn this into a movie, too. I mean, in full disclosure, this is actually... It's funny you brought it up. It, it's a, it's a, a piece that I have been pitching for years. To Hollywood? Uh, no, to just like my brother. Oh, right on. Yeah, master so. of everything. I'm like, check it in, check it, check it in, <laughs> check, <laughs> check it like, out. He he you're walks like a, you're in. Pedigo? Is that you been running it by? Pedigo? Yeah, I mean, not really. It was a joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, um, I, I've drank several beers this evening. Probably gonna drink some more. As a matter of fact, oh, 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 this God guy, damn. this guy's. You know hey, what? Brad, what? What? Hey, you got Whoa. one too? Whoa! What the fuck? This is crazy. I know, never before seen on our podcast. I'm just gonna talk like there's a camera on us too. Do it. Hey, you guys, watch this. Is what I'm gonna say a lot. Check me out, you fuckers. Welcome to the, you fuckers. Welcome. We both have beers now, and this mm-hmm. is. Now it's a party. Uh, unique, yeah. Now it's a fucking party. Yeah, now we're both partying about it. All right, you got another character for me? No, I do have something I want to talk to you about, though. Oh. I've noticed. I was having a lot of fun with that game. Do you want we'll to come play? Ba- no, we'll play come back to it. We'll take a break from it. We'll come back to it. You got something. Let's hear it. I, I just, I've noticed lately that on the show, you refer to me as Neek. Oh, yeah, I've prob- I might have even done it on this one. Yeah. Probably. And here's the thing, man. I right, what up, Nick? <laughs> here's the thing, man. You're the only fucking person that calls me that. And at the very beginning of every episode, I say... I am Nick, and then when you go to tell a story about me, dude, you keep calling me Neek, and people are like, is that two different people? Is Neek like his fucking alter ego? Like, what's going on? Anyway, dude, I don't fuck like that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Brad, check it out. Fucking, you're calling me Neek, and that's not the way that I fuck, dog. That's the, he doesn't fuck that way. I'm sorry, I'm called Unique since you told me to when we first met. So that's my okay, excuse yeah. for why that still happens. I did instruct you to do that. When yeah, you were, when you're you like, were what's still up? I'm Unique, and I'm like, 
so like unique or what? And you're like, no, oh no, man, no. Uh, it's wow, that's wild. I never thought about that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And you're like, no, it's like all my cousins down in Tennessee. Yeah. They say, hey, what, what's hey, up, Nick? Nate? Nate. And that's just kind of you know, what's up, Nick? I'm Nick Star, I'm fucking Nicky Tardis. I got all these names. Yeah. But here, Nicky Wallets. My, hey, it's Nicky Wallets. Now no, you're just Nicky Wallets to me. I would love to be Nicky Wallets and everybody's. Anyway. I, you know, I'm not really upset that you keep calling me that. You I just wanted to me. point it out for our listeners, dude. You yelled at me. Yeah, it. because I like to uh, <laughs> turn up the flavor. Dog. Just gotta throw some spice on that B. You know, uh, like B short for bitch. Short for bitch, because I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. <laughs> That's my favorite version of that song. That's uh, because I'm a bitch too. But <laughs> same, same. Uh, so you know, okay. So what's funny is uh, I, for instance, in my phone, your name is Brandon. For some reason, over the last few years, I decided to start calling you Brandon. Yeah. So good, Bert. Solid, Bert. Um. If you're going to call me Neek, which go ahead and continue to call me Neek, dude. I'm fine with it, realistically. I just got to call you Nick on the show. Just so everybody knows, if he says Neek, he's talking about me. If I accidentally say Brandon, I am certainly talking about Brad. There is a possibility you'll just look over and be like, hey, Brandon. Oh, uh, Brandon. What's up, Brandon? <laughs> dude, Br- check it out. Brad will call me sometimes and I'll answer the phone and I'll be like, ah, oh, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. He does. That's and it's pretty say. cool. It's that was very good. It's, you had brilliant mic etiquette there as well. You're like, all yeah. right, I got this bit. I'm going to scream on it. So when I do, yeah. and it'll emphasize it, I'm going to lean way back. And, Dude. Go, and it was awesome. Dude, I leaned back and fucking pointed my mouth towards the ceiling yeah. so that I could shout in such a shrill manner. In a, in a positive context this time, he's the only fucking professional in this room, folks. Like... He's yeah, the only fucking the professional only fucking in here. Hey, man. Um, what up? No, you're a professional, too. I respect you. I respect you, that. <laughs> Thank you. I respect you, too? Is that what you say in that scenario? I don't know, because nobody's ever said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hates me. Hey, man, I respect you, though. Fuck, that was the first time that's ever happened. There you go. Dude, I have the strangest erection. Good. It's a good thing for people. Um, <laughs> I, I want to start, uh, anytime something remotely good happens to me, I'm going to start telling people that I have the strangest erection. That's, but is that borderline, like... Harassment? Sexual harassment? Yeah. Absolutely. But that's a risk that I'm willing to take, dude. Wow. For the sake of comedy. Yeah, that's dude, true. Dude. For the sake of comedy. Yeah. You're just walking around. Check it around out. Like, um, okay. You're pretty much just walking around going, look at my dick. Look at my dick. Nah, it's not look at my dick. It's, it's Look at my dick. So I'll go through Starbucks and I'll order a fucking drink and I get to the window and the lady at the window is like, I don't know. I feel like the scenario you're painting, it doesn't go well. Yeah. It doesn't it, end well. As soon as I said lady at the window. The lady much, at the window ruined it. Yeah, I pretty much fucking ruined it. <laughs> but dude, listen. Wait, listen. I'm listening. I have no choice. Actually, the person in front of you uh, paid for your order. They're doing the pay it forward thing. Oh. And I say, Wow. I have the strangest erection right now. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound good. No, <laughs> it that, doesn't. I, it really it doesn't. doesn't. What do you? I'm really. I'm hearing it, and it still doesn't sound good. I shouldn't say it. No, you just shouldn't Fuck. say that to random people. Like, especially not the Starbucks lady. Yeah, she's just trying maybe to people you know live her already. Life and do her job. <laughs> like, if it's people you know already, then it's like, oh yeah, I get it. And it's talking about erections. But again. that's not as fun, dude, because. I mean, people that know me... It was me, funny for me when you said it. Dude, people that know it's, me did you expect hear me to say something you about went, my erection. You went, I have the strangest erection right now, and I went, good. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> did you? I did not catch yes, that. Yes. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> oh, good. 
Yeah. <laughs> you went, I have the strangest erection right now. Like, good. Because good for you. I'm glad you feel good. Holy fuck. He's the one they call Dr. Feel Good. He's the one who makes it feel all right. Brad. What? A spiteful, waspy, waspy. northeasterner. And go. Like New England? Yes. Come on, Dub. Would you say a spiteful waspy? Waspy. So like a salty old dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, you parked the car and I have it yet. I couldn't help but notice the gales is coming in. <laughs> you feel that westerly breeze? Went a little Irish there. Can I just turn it to an Irishman who's sure. living in New England? Sure. <laughs> oh, the old wishy... Uh, that's okay, I don't have anything for that either. When are you going to use your stupid fucking rope fire? Oh, that'll be $1.25, Milan. <laughs> you want to ride to the old aisle? Yeah, we tread in dangerous waters here. <laughs> hey, man, you're also really good at Irish, it turns out. Oh, a little bit of practice take you a long way. Well, now you're just a leprechaun. <laughs> that was, okay, that yeah. was offensive. I'm yeah. sorry, well, I'm redheaded, so. Yeah. Am You're I allowed? after me lucky charms, Paul. These lucky charms, that's, yep. I was going to do bad stuff again. Right, yeah. These lucky charms are fucking mine, lad. <laughs> you don't touch my goddamn lucky charms. Let's, okay, let's. You have to get them out of me <laughs> fucking bowels. That wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> You listen here, you panty waist motherfucker. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew you could do these things. Those are my goddamn lucky charms. You get close to my goddamn lucky charms one more goddamn time. I'll rip your goddamn nards off. I don't give two <laughs> fucks. I'll Should have said, and I'll shove them up your fucking arse. I'll take those, I'll take those nards and I'll shove them up your fucking arse. <laughs> and that'll be a dollar twenty-five, me lad. <laughs> And that's my Irishman. Opening and close is the dollar twenty five. My brother taught me that. Credit Nick B. Shout outs, Nick uh, B. Shout outs, Nick B. Shouts. <laughs> we'll get Terry on here for you. Oh yeah, we'll be talking to Terry Dragon for you very soon. Nicholas Bodine. We, uh, we we sent him a postcard. We're just waiting for a reply. No, actually, I meant to tell you, Terry Dragon sent me one back. What did it say? It was just a bag of cocaine. I, that's a yes. Dude. I'll take that as yeah. a yes. He's sending his preemptive coke, so right. it's, there's a backup here when it arrives. Yeah, when he it, arrives. It's, he didn't send it for me, that's the thing. He no. sent it like, all right, man, I'll be there. Yeah, that's you his know? RSVP is keep this there because I'm going to need it, yeah. is what he's saying with that. A dollar twenty-five. Like, do I sound kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger-y no. a little no, bit you don't when sound I do that? Because that's... You don't sound Ar- Arnie. Yeah. I'm like, all right, let me try Irish. You're like, all right, here's my Irish accent. Get to the job, <laughs> Right, yeah. Like, I struggle with it. And, and that's the thing. If I actually try to do Arnold, I fucking can't. Get but to then, the job, I'm trying to turn it into something else like an old... Do, can you do an old, like a grizzly, like a 90-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger? You know? Give me something like that. Okay, so a regular Arnold is like... Okay. So I guess the, um, the older... Version? <laughs> <laughs> That's a damn fine old Arnold Schwarzenegger impression you got there, laddie. <laughs> I wish you were Irish in real life, dude. Yeah. Like, like that guy more. I like him more. Well, welcome to the terrible podcast. That's Nick, and uh, I'm, I'm the Irish guy. I'm the, I'm the Irish guy. Brad is, what is I the say. Irish guy. Now I'm this fucking quiet Liam Neeson motherfucker up in here. There ain't a goddamn motherfucker in this garage that's professional. All right, I got one. All right, so I got, I got one more for you. Did I run that one into the ground? No, 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 no. I just okay. I, I had an idea, and, and I want to say it. You ready? All my angry people are quiet. Side note. Yeah. Yeah, they my are. British guy who was like, "Well, they should be, dude. Great. Like, they're I'm they're reserved. quiet. I could just whoop that ass. I guess I don't know. Maybe I got knives in my pocket. Yeah, it's I don't know knives are that's it's, it's, I don't. That joke's dead too. I didn't have an end for that. It's fucking solid. Your, your turn. It's solid. Okay. <laughs> What's well, my next one? This one's impossible. Shoot to Shoot another one, Amy. Okay. Okay. 
It sounds basic. <clears throat> Let's hear it, sister. You ready? Yeah. You ready, baby? I am. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. Randy Savage. Uh-huh. Do you ever call your dad Macho Man Randy Pettigo? I'm about to. Like, how did that never happen before? Not sure. That's wild. Holy fuck. Okay, so now we're doing the fucking Macho Man. Yeah. <laughs> we're here on the Terrible Podcast. Yeah. We're going to talk about some shit. Yeah. All this talk we're having about this shit is going to take us straight to the top, brother. Yeah. Tippy top. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Terrible Podcast. I'm Nick, yeah. You know, you and Brian, yeah. We're gonna talk about some shit. Oh, we're well, here yes, to talk yeah. about all this shit, yeah. It's our moment of glory, yeah. Because I've been to the mountaintop, yes, I am. And I'm at the tippy top, yeah. He's at the tippy top of the mountaintop, brother, yeah. <laughs> and what you don't understand is that only the cream of the crop rises to the top, brother, yeah. And I am the cream of the crop, yes, I am, yeah. Yes, he is, and he is I, and I am me, and we are we, brother, yeah. All of a sudden. <laughs> Dude. Macho Man Randy Savage is the funnest voice in the world to do. It is a fun one. That's um, good. There's a lot to it. There's so much to it. There's a lot going on with it. Because he'll be shouting at you like this, yeah, and then he'll bring it down and kind of whisper it to you for a second. He likes to talk sweet. Nothing's in your ear a little bit before he wants to get a little loud in your face, brother. Yeah. He's just going to tell you. So I have little circles you of tape little around little my little fingers? Little. Yes, I do. Am I going to drop some fucking lobos on a couple of J-Brones? Yes, I am. Yeah. Have I said that before? Yes, I am. From time to time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You yeah. can't just say yeah. Can't just break character. After that. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, here's one for you. Talk like Randy Savage. But instead of actually doing his voice, do your voice. Like, uses inflection, uses cadence. <laughs> I tell you what, Psycho Sid. I think I've lost all my marbles. Or at least all of, uh, most of my marbles. But if I lose another one, brother, it doesn't really matter, brother. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty much what's up. That's pretty much my tits. Or wait, my shit. That's my shit. That's what I meant to say. No, 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 no. It's not my tits. It's my shit. It's his tits. Don't let him lie to you. Fuck. That's I didn't want his... anybody to know that that was my tits. It's on your tits now, dude. God damn it. This is a weird episode. Yeah. Most of them are. Yeah. I, I find I, I I find solace in that fact that solace. Yeah, isn't that what it is? Solace, solace. So, yeah, people say solace. When you said solace, I heard soulless. Like without soul. Yeah, like you didn't have a soul about it. I have a soul, dude. I'm full of soul. I'm the you soul, are. I'm the soul man. Uh, I'm the soul man. You are. You are very bountiful uh, with soul. Um, but yeah, no, like when, when I feel like we're saying a bunch of weird shit that makes no sense, I'm like, oh man, for a second. But then I realize like, that's pretty much all we do anyway. Yeah. So it's yeah. cool. No, that's about it. But I think that's, uh, that's what all this is about. Yeah. You know? We'll be fucking, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll be doing a fucking episode and I'll be like, this one feels weird weird dude like maybe oh, we, we should get start weird. over we get weird but then realistically like they're all no. incredibly strange yeah because uh, we're weird dudes and we want people to uh listen to us be weird and uh with that being said this has been fun you guys have been uh fun yeah uh, tremendous audience tonight round of applause for yourselves let's hear it for you guys yeah real quick be sure to join us next week you fucks. Uh, my name's wow. Nick. I'm Brad. And this has been the Terrible Podcast. You go fuck yourself. You can go fuck yourselves.